So, the track we've got up here um, is an old favourite of ours. It's Lily Allen's The Fear, which was um, mm -hmm. sent as a Logic demo project around Logic Studio 2, something like that. Um, you can see just sitting in idle here, the new Mac Pro has got plenty of headroom. So, uh, let's see what happens when we hit play. of clothes, I want loads of diamonds, I heard people die while they're trying to find them, and I'll take my clothes off, and it will be shameless, cause everyone knows, that's how you get famous, I'll look at the sun, and I'll look in the mirror, I'm on the right track, yeah I'm on to a winner, I don't know what's so yeah, fairly obvious here, this is a session that's not really taxing any of the machines at all, it's yeah, primarily audio tracks, quite a lot of effects on the um, on the on the tracks, but each of the machines is handling it with a very even load across all the processing cores there. Um, old Mac Pro is about 25% usage there, new Mac Pro is about 10% usage. Uh, Mac Mini about 15% usage across all the machines there. And after this long hiatus it's taken for a new machine, do you think there's going to be more uh, more Macs coming soon, Mac Pros, you know, they're going to, like, like they used to update every year, the cycle will get quicker again? Or... I hope so. Um, certainly compared with how it's been from 2012, 2013 onwards, um, Apple have definitely showed a renewed interest in the, in the Pro market. Um, hopefully that means that we're going to, to see more regular updates to the machines as, as new processors get released. To some extent, they're, they're hamstrung by Intel releasing new chips that, yeah. that make a, a meaningful difference. Um, but you know, I, I can't see that we're going to be in the position we were where the machine just doesn't change for six years, as, as we did with the, with the trash can. Mm -hmm. 